how you got involved. How did you know that you wanted to be an artist and a writer? Tell me what triggered that for you in your life. Actually, you know, when I was younger, um, I used to write songs and stuff, right? And I used to just live inside my head a lot. And I used to write just like, you know, how I was feeling. And then I really felt like they didn't have a God, but then I believed in God. So I was kind of like on the defense with it. Mm -hmm. So um, I think, and then throughout life, when you didn't have, when you don't have parents or to encourage you or motivate you or inspire you to, you know, um, perfect your gifts and talents, uh, you lose it along the way. So it was, it wasn't until like later on as I grew and went through all of this heartache and pain until I found God and then God really released those gifts and talents inside of me. And, you know, so then I was able to be like, you know what, all of those years I thought that I lost it, but it came back and it came back more powerful than ever. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. Yes, you know? indeed you are. And what was going on in your life at the time that motivated those thoughts? Because I know that a lot of times when we get the courage to write down our thoughts, it's usually behind a circumstance or a situation or a feeling. What was that for you? Actually, I had this one friend, right? And uh, I'm, I'm, I was like a type of person that only have like a small circle of friends. Mm -hmm. and, and then I had like this one friend that just, just this one time and uh, I felt like she helped me through a lot of things and I helped her through a lot of things, but then our friendship fell apart. And so whenever something, I lose something in life, I have to sit down and do some self-reflecting. Mm -hmm. So when I lost that friendship, I had to self-reflect and I just started, you know, like just looking at myself within myself and finding out what what about myself? Like, you know, cause I, I find that I, I lost like a lot of friendships. So yeah. I was like, what about myself that makes me keep losing these friendships that I'm thinking that are good and solid. And then, you know, thinking that they supposed to last for a lifetime. But once I started doing self search, soul searching and everything, I realized that these friendships was only for, supposed to last for a season. You know, that's what it, that's what it was supposed to be. So when that happened, uh, I started saying, you know what, I want to do more. So I, I started, you know, branching out and just going out. I've been living in San Antonio for like 10 plus years and I don't know a lot of things around San Antonio until I started actually like, you know, saying that, you know, I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to step out in fear. I'm, I'm going to go out there and see what else the world has, you know, for, for the offer and then meet new friends and meet new people and just learn to make a difference. You know, I don't just want to be in this world existing, I want to live, you know, and yes. that's what I did. Yes. And, you know, I appreciate your honesty with that because that's the way that we really get down to the core. Like you said, you asked yourself a question. What part do I play in the fact that I don't have the same friends in the same relationships? And see, that's what I think all of us need to do as individuals, because nothing happens by accident. It always comes back to us. We always have a part to play with it. And we always have a responsibility to see what that is and to get through that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, that's what I had to do, basically. And you got that done so much so that it allowed you to come up with your project, which I really love. How did you come up with Black Child and why did you name it Black Child specifically? Ooh, so <laughs> basically I was, um, I, I wrote the poem first. Okay. Like a while and then it's, it's it's amazing, you know. And I'm I'm a I'm a open person, transparent. So you know, most of my ideas come when I'm being in the bathroom. Sometimes I could just be in the mirror. That's where my song "Fly" came from. Okay. I had the lyrics, and then I was just like looking in the mirror, and I was like, "Oh, I feel a fly," and I was like, "Yeah, I woke up feeling fly." And then that's where you know my my chorus came from. So I was in the bathroom, and then just the the lyrics for "Black Child" just came to me. The chorus. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm a name it that. That's what the world where we was going through at the time. I said, yeah. And then I, I was just gonna speak to women, or, or girls, women and girls. And right. Like, you know, we all are God's children. So I said, I want to make it. You know, it's about a black child. You know, yeah. and that's where it came from. And it is such a strong. I love the picture that you chose for the LP. And I really, really would like if you would just share a few lines of that beautiful poem. I, I, 
just, I can't remember. And it doesn't come out better than from the person that wrote it. So can you share a little bit with the audience today? Um, so Black Child, uh, um, on the cover, that is my little uh, G baby, my own boy grandbaby. Wow. Uh, that I put on the cover of, um, of the, the, the Black Child. So it goes, dear Black Child, wear your crown. Hold your head up high and don't you look down. The sky is the limit. Believe in your dreams. If you believe, you will receive. Dear Black Child, hold your head up high. Wear your crown. Oh, wait. <laughs> I just like redo. <laughs> I don't know that one. Like, I don't know that one. <laughs> I do I can remember it. No worries, no worries. I mean, <laughs> between us kicking this off and between all of the emotion that goes into your project. But I'm going to give you five seconds because we need those lines. I need you to download them and give them to us. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, the sky is the limit. The sky okay, is the We'll come back to it. Right. We'll come back to it. But <laughs> why? I'm with that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it'll come to you specifically. So we'll deal with that after we deal with the stuff on the grill. But specifically, why is this project so important to you? And what is it that you want our audience, your listeners, the people who pick up that project to get from it? Um, basically, this this project is a single off of my album uh, that I'm working on called mm -hmm. Beautiful Flawed. And oh my gosh, on this album, I'm going to have like several different, I mean, I took it from, you know, just from a book to now I put it on a, on, on an album. I want to touch many different souls with this, with, with this album. And I want to have everything from, I'm talking about COVID to, to hope and give hope and inspiration and motivation and inspiring people. So I'm, I'm, I have several different things on this album. So I'm just, I'm excited about it. And we are too. And it's it's like the food that we need to feed ourselves in this new year, especially. It is really, really necessary and needed. And with that, I think we need to go to the grill. Let's go to the grill. Let's go to the grill. We need to talk about healing souls today and how important that is to us moving forward in 2021 in a way that's motivating, inclusive, and healing to our souls.